So this is the setup. Life is going swimmingly. <laughs> it look really greasy <laughs> anyways <laughs> hi i'm abby i'm a first year student here at augusta university and am part of the bsmd program just a disclaimer i don't want to do like pros and cons or something like that because it's really different for everyone it really depends on what you're looking for in college something that's attractive to one person can be a turn off for someone else and to be honest i heard many people throughout my own college process saying that no school is good or bad, but rather that it's about whether the college is the right fit for you. So after being in college for one year, wise old me, I agree. Ah! I agree so far. Instead, I'll try to provide some details and facets about Augusta that you may be looking for in your next four years. This video is going to be pretty Augusta specific, but it may get some ideas churning about what you may be looking for in your college. I'll also try to get in some professional scholars and some BSMD stuff for those of you who are interested. But no matter what, getting into any college or seeking higher education is commendable. Just anywhere. And what school you go to or don't go to does not does not, are you listening to me, say anything about your self-worth. Without further ado, here are some potential factors that you may be considering. We'll start with a little bit of a lighter one. Weather. The weather actually is really nice here for the most part. Between my high school friends, I think I am the one who moved the furthest south for college. It is a little humid in the summer, but it's nice and warm generally. Also, the sunsets here are top tier. Let me insert a lot of sunsets. Sometimes my air does smell a little weird though. There's like a meat factory or like a paper factory around here somewhere. And also it gets very windy sometimes, but for the most part, it's been pretty chill. I am also saying this before the summer hits, so uh, we'll see about that. Community. So most people here are pretty nice and pretty chill. If you're really into party culture, um, I'm not sure you're going to like what I have to say next. Parties do exist, but we're not a party school by any means. Now, this personally wasn't really a factor for me because I'm not really into that scene, but to each their own. And if you look hard enough, you'll find some events. However, I will say that the vibe here is pretty studious and hardworking in general, which is what I wanted in college. Another thing, we're very focused, very focused on health sciences. Um, at least on the health sciences campus, 90% of people that I've met want to be a nurse, a doctor, or a dentist, or another career that's like health sciences related. On the plus side, you can meet a lot of people who are like-minded if you're really into STEM or people who can relate to the STEM grind, the women in STEM mentality. Also, there are just a ton of health science related clubs that you can join so you can meet a lot of people who think like you or have the same interests. Moving on to academics. I'm very much exposing myself for saying this, but when I first came to Augusta, I was low-key a little worried about being here. It was a lot smaller, first of all. The university was a lot smaller than my other options. And like many other high-achieving high school kids, I thought that US News would be the end-all be-all. And Augusta didn't even have a US News ranking, so but we all know what happened with US News or what is currently happening with US News. Haha. <laughs> I was also a little worried that some of the classes were going to be like traditional pre-med weed out classes and whether the quality of my education would suffer going to somewhere that wasn't as prestigious or as high ranking. But I will say that that all was really not true. Although there is a value to name brands like Ivy's, I'm really not calling anyone out here again. The classes here have been challenging in their own right. I have had to learn new skills for my new classes and to adapt new study habits like any other college student. A lot of my professors are experts in their field and so far generally have been good teachers who know what they're doing and they want their students to succeed. Something to keep in mind is that unlike high school, professors are also researchers and to be able to do research you need to teach. Sometimes some professors at high-ranking institutions are great researchers but don't necessarily teach well. And often at com community colleges or places that are a little less well-known, you'll still find amazing teachers. So, Also, others may disagree with me, but about the weed-outs, here I don't really think that the 
pre-med classes are necessarily weed outs. If you're a professional scholar, you're already like part of the top 5% of your graduating class. So chances are that with some hard work and some studying, then you'll be fine. Why do I say some? I mean a lot. <laughs> Moving on to extracurriculars. We do have sports, but I don't think I'm the right person to ask about that. But it really depends on what you're looking for. We don't have a football team, so there aren't any big games here like there would be in UGA. According to other people, we do have a pretty good men's basketball team and a D1 golf team. But again, I'm not the person to ask for that. We also have sent several intramurals or clubs. Some of the other scholars are on the Bollywood Fusion dance team, which by the way, they've been amazing. And some are on the soccer team, the intramural one as well. My roommate just started in a knitted knockers club which makes knitted prosthetics for breast cancer survivors. That was totally a plug. Please join. A lot of clubs here, again, are focused on health sciences or like the pre-health pathways, like pre-dental or Doctors Without Borders, another plug. There's also a lot of research opportunity. At a lot of different colleges, there's an undergraduate research portal and Augusta is not an exception to that. I may provide a link below to that. You can start research as a freshman or any time during your time here. And often you can just email the principal investigator based on what postings are in. So a lot of professional scholars, including me this semester, have started doing research if they had the time. Or there's also a variety of other topics such as physics or even humanities based research. Okay, moving on to finances. So tuition and fees are relatively inexpensive here compared to a lot of other universities, even for out of state students. So, so if you're hoping to pursue some kind of graduate school like medical or dental school, this might be something to consider considering that medical school is very, very expensive. Zell Miller and Hope also work here for in-state students, if you're familiar with that, if you live in Georgia. So for example, for fall 2022 through summer 2023, the tuition for the College of Nursing and College for Allied Health Sciences was, let me get my computer, sorry, my computer's right here, $4,432 for in-state and then $14,189 for out-of-state per semester. That doesn't include all the fees and other things, of course, but that is a lot lower than a lot of other institutions. Also, I'm sorry I'm fake, but I literally have a physics test this week. I didn't memorize. I have my script on here. Okay, setting. I would describe Augusta as urban slash suburban-ish. I would not call this a city like New York, Boston, or Atlanta by any means. I'm sorry to the Augustans out there. I'm really sorry. Please don't come at me. I would definitely recommend making friends with someone who has a car or to bring your own car if you're planning to explore to go off campus. We do have shuttles, but you can't just walk to Walmart or downtown Augusta whenever you feel like, nor would I really think that it's very safe to. It's kind of far. This is a very small campus, um, partially due to Augusta's history. A bunch of smaller colleges in the area came together to form Augusta as it is now. And this is not too long ago. We're basically like a bunch of smaller campuses and then that's all considered Augusta University. We have pretty small classes. I think the largest class I've had was like maybe 70 or 80 people. And this is compared to over 200 or like hundreds of students for intro to sciences classes at other schools. So what's good though is that you only have to walk 10 minutes max to classes. And if you don't want to leave campus or if you're a home buddy, you generally don't have to leave. I'm personally happy with the amount of events we have. There's enough for me to enjoy the occasional night out. Like for example, I think we watched Black Panther 2 last semester, which was pretty fun. And that was for free. There's like something special now and then but not so much to the point where I feel overwhelmed. Distance from home is probably not too far since most people are either from Georgia or from Augusta in my experience. Moving on to dorms. Also, have I introduced Ollie? My baby, my impulse buy from Home Goods once. Anyways, this is Oliver. He's my emotional support. He's staring at me right now. Okay, the dorms. Oh, the freshman dorms I cannot speak for because I live in an upperclassman dorm hall where you have your own private kitchen and your restroom. I cannot tell you how nice that is compared to a lot of other dorms across the country. These halls and these buildings are all relatively new, at least on the health sciences campus. 
including the labs and the health sciences building. Honestly, the amount of times I'm going to say health sciences in this video are horrendous, but most are over like a decade old. So compared to more older campuses, you don't have to worry as much as like being cramped or decades old carpet or whatever. I'll do a room tour eventually. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Food. I did a basic rundown in my last video, which I'll try to link. There's not a huge amount of dining options, admittedly, but it is growing. And many people get DoorDash or drive to go get food if they get tired of the dining hall. Also an update, I found out where Subway is. So that's another option on the health sciences campus that I did not get to mention it in my last video. That's really all that I have for a general look at college. If you still have some questions or you still don't know if you want to come to Augusta, I would recommend taking a tour. School is in session so then you can really get a feel for the, the campus and for what it's like when students are here. Do this before your decision is due please and just try to see if you can see yourself here honestly. That goes for your other colleges too if possible. Maybe the section you've been waiting for or if it doesn't apply to you, the section you're trying to skip. Okay kiddos, we're going to talk about some professional scholar things. Some stuff is specific to being in Augusta and being in Georgia again, but if you're thinking about applying or were already accepted into a BSMD program in general, then here are some things that you might want to think about. First off, congratulations! I would yell louder, but I'm in a dorm right now. The walls are thin. Congratulations, you got into med school or dental school at the young age of 17 or 18. Is that narcissistic? I think it's very cool and exciting to have gotten in. I literally rolled out of bed on a Friday at 11 a.m. Don't skip school like I did that day, kids. I was really convinced that I wouldn't get in, but at then I woke up to this email. So for dental school, this is the only dental school in the state. So if you are planning to go to dental school here in Georgia, this may well be where you end up going. The Medical College of Georgia is likewise the only public medical school in the state. So it has a relatively lower tuition compared to a lot of the other private schools here and just in the country. Another thing you might want to think about, you shave off a year of school. You can save time and money on those med school applications are not cheap. Then you have to apply to like 20 med schools later. If you're watching this video, then you probably already know that it's getting a lot harder to get into med school, especially to enter right after grad. Many people stay an extra year at school or take a gap year to do research, to do work, or take the MCAT. Even at MCG, the acceptance rate was only like 7.64% last year. If you're confident that medicine or dentistry is the thing that you really want to do, I would seriously consider coming here. Like Augusta, MCG, and DCG also have lower tuition rates than a lot of other institutions in the country. I will insert them because I didn't have the numbers at this time when I was filming. This is more specific to Augusta, but cohort style and people. It really varies depending on the program or school. Some places they accept like a lot of kids compared to here where we only have except 30 MDs and then 10 BSD MDs. And then other places it's just kind of like, well, this is just a program that you're part of. This is basically just a pathway. It's not dictating how what classes you're in, how many classes you're in, and who you see every day. But honestly, because of the tight-knit cohort style that we have here, it was really not hard to make friends at all, like coming into college, which was a relief because your girl is really socially awkward. Each cohort here takes classes together and we all live near each other. It's really easy to figure out who's in the program based on like us clustering together all the time, moving in huge groups between classes. You'll have scholars in pretty much all of your classes, especially the MDs will be grouped a lot with the MDs and then the DMDs will be grouped a lot with the DMDs. For the most part, everyone knows everyone within their own cohort since there's only like max 40 people in each cohort. Last year there was a waitlist for the DMDs but to my knowledge there hasn't been one for the MDs. Of course it may have changed since then. For context, in the beginning of the year, at least in my cohort, we started with 18 MDs and with 10 DMDs. I'm not trying to butter anyone up, but this is also one of the smartest and most hardworking groups I have ever met. A lot of people accepted into this program also get into really prestigious schools like Ivy Leagues and full ride scholarships to places like Georgia Tech. At least in my experience, Everyone is also really willing to help you and to answer your questions, especially because we're all just going to the same place anyways and we all have a common goal which is get through 
the program. I am indecisive as heck, so this next part appealed to me, but I realized it doesn't appeal to everyone. You can't choose your core curriculum or major if you're in this program. You're automatically considered a cell and molecular biology major. We're cautioned against pursuing a double major since we already have up to 16 or 17 credit hours per semester. It has been done in the past, but it's said to be very, very difficult. So classes are reserved and chosen for you. Although we meet with our advisors, about every semester to talk about any electives or free spaces that we might have. We can only make really small changes, at least speaking as a first year. A lot of science AP credits as well are not taken because they're trying to choose courses for you so then you can take the MCAT by the end of second year. For example, AP Bio and AP Physics aren't taken since they want you to take these classes again. However, AP Calculus BC and then other humanities courses are usually taken for credit. IB is a bit tricky. Some of the people that I know who have done IB, they had to take some classes again, but AP and dual enrollment are generally transferable. I would search it up and just for any college that you're considering, I would search up what kind of AP credits that they take because that may affect your schedule in college. Also, you're not technically an honor student to clarify, so we're separate from the honor students. Although classes, again, aren't necessarily weed up classes here, we do have a lot of classes for example, most scholars have schedules of probably 16 or 17 credit hours per semester compared to a lot of my other friends who have just entered college who have maybe 13 or 14 credit hours per semester. Overall, I would not recommend coming in to college with like really big expectations. Not because I think college sucks or anything like that. Like I don't really have any regrets so far and I, you know, genuinely have enjoyed my time in college thus far, but it is actually hard so i think that those moments where you find friends or community or something equally as precious can be regarded as something really special or momentous so congratulations again to everyone who is accepted to the professional scholars program accepted into augusta or just accepted to any higher level institution no matter what i'm very very proud of you wherever you end up going i'm sure you will do great if there's anything I haven't covered you're welcome to leave comment or to dm me on instagram good luck bye and make sure to subscribe if you want to hang out again next time i drop a video i have to do the quintessential <laughs> bye i have a blanket for my butt i have my coffee milk sponsor me um I have my two stuffed animals, mostly for emotional support, a lamp for the lighting, and this is what um, I've been setting my phone on. Thank you, Gaia Tree, for this. Also, I wanted to sit on my desk, but then from my desk, you could see the closet, which is, there's too much stuff going on there. And then I wanted to sit at the counter, but then the blinds are like behind me. And then I tried to like sit somewhere else but then the lighting was weird and then i ran out of places because i live in a dorm so